Fashion TV. It's Sally Golan coming to you for Miami Winter Music Conference. We are at the tail end of the busiest week that Miami has to offer. I'm sitting with a man who needs absolutely no introduction. He is Pete Tong. So you are about to play at Surf Comer and we're super excited to hear you. What's tonight's sound going to be like? Pool party is a bit of a mix-up of styles. It's, it's it's new DJs or you know some established, some new um, that I'm excited about. Um, I mean house, you know house more than EDM. I've got Scream coming and playing. Um, who's the guy that's actually on Radio One with me back in the UK, and he's we've just done a mix CD together. You know we've got a couple of surprises that I can tell you about now, which is Fatboy Slim is going to come and play. Eric Prids is coming down. Um, Scoop has played or he's on now. Um, Tiga, Danny Days from Miami. So Hot Since 82 is an amazing um, DJ producer from England. But I'm playing a lot of his music, so he played. That was good. I'm obsessed with that boy Slim. I'm so excited to hear that. Yeah, yeah no, he's, um, he's, he, this is his environment totally as well. He absolutely excels on, you know, outdoor events, big stage, people with their feet in the sand, so it's good. That's the way I like to party. So after a winter music conference, what's next for you? What country you're trotting off to next? Um, I'm back to England actually, not very long, um, to do some radio stuff and um, then I'm going to LA actually, so I'm going to be in LA for like three weeks. I think London and the UK in general has some of the most leading EDM, electronica, house music DJs. Do you think it's still the top of the world? Um, well I think it was at the beginning, that's for sure, and then I think it, um, it didn't. It didn't really. It's always, I mean, it's always there, you know, and it's always, we're still doing our thing. But I don't, I don't think it had the heat around it like it did um, back in the late '80s, early '90s. For quite some time, I mean, you know, the story moved to France or Holland in terms of where the actual producers were coming from. Germany, obviously, with the techno and the house. But I would say in the last few years, um, the UK is really back in an incredibly strong place. For our fans that absolutely want to become producers, musicians, what, what's some words of wisdom for a veteran like you? Well, it's never been easier to make your own music, so I think um, just got to dive in and get involved. There's, there's two real routes in. One, the most common way is obviously you make a track that catches everyone's imagination. You know, you, so often someone will make a track because they, they want to make something that gets played by their kind of DJ hero. So we're getting more and more stories of kids literally in their bedrooms, 16, 17 year old, making tunes, sending them to their heroes, you know, be it, you know, the Swedes or Avicii or someone. And then next thing they know, they're, 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 they've got signed to that DJ's label and they're suddenly playing in front of um, 10,000 people and they've never DJ before. And the other way is to start a club and or, or start a party, you know, and actually get a crowd together. I think that's, we're starting to see that more and more in America now. Thank you so, so much. We're not going to keep you much longer. We know you have a whole crowd to please. <laughs> we're going to check out Pete Tong and his party live with thousands and thousands of people just dying to get in. So Fashion TV, thank you so much for joining us. And Pete Tong, do you love Fashion TV? Hi, I'm Pete Tong and you're watching Fashion TV. Well, so